Yesterday, I was talking with uh, some retail customers, and one of the challenges was that they had a lot of different systems and stores, and if they changed an iFlow, they needed to make sure that all of this was updated across all of the different stores and systems that they connected to. So here we have a scenario. We have three stores that is connected. In the FIGAF tool, we have the iFlow here is in our QA system. We have this uh, configuration here that's the distributed configuration. Right now we have just three stores, but if we want to add a, a new one, let's add it called store far. We also need a display name for it. And now in this list, we can see store far here. We can see it is warning, which means it is not created. And we can go in and we can override and say what this value should be. And there's probably some problems with using uh, the same GMS name. Anyway, this would allow us to, to save here. And now we can see we need to create this. So it says it's not updated here. So just add up, update all live flows. That means it will start creating this uh, in the back end and make sure it is still relevant. If we go back here to our... Uh, CPI and refreshes it. We can now see that store four is is here. Good. But we also have some changes that are happening in this. And right now I have all of these as version uh, 1.2, but we have a version 1.3. With the FIGAF tool, we can then add it to a ticket uh, demo. We can define which landscape it needs to go into. Here we are just using our virtual landscape items. We would um, multi, multi, give it a name, link it to a Jira. That is the reason why we are doing this change. We will start our transport, obviously, with tests and all these things that is normal. And we can configure the externalized parameters as a part of this. We can go in and we can compare to see what is the difference between this. So we can see we changed something in this mapping where we now added, as we call it, a new element on this. So that's good. We will send it to approval and approve it. And now we can import it. This will import the base iFlow of this version inside of the tool. And it'll take a few seconds. But we still know that this is still just version one two. Refresh. So now it is imported version three. We can see here in our distributed configuration. Hey, uh, it is out of date. We could have set up the automatically update, or we can just go in and say let's update all of these different iFlows. Then it will update all of the different iFlows, configure them based on these scenarios where we have inherited from source these different scenarios. So there is obviously going to be some of these scenarios that you will be updating. So if we refresh the page now, we can see that all of these iFlows is now uh, 1.03. So that means it has been possible for us to update all of these with minimal effort. I hope you like it. This is a part of the FIGAF DevOps tool that you can try out. It is really easy to get started with it. The only thing is once you have an iFlow, um, just click on, there should be a button up here. Let's just do it in the development one where we are not created. Here there's create uh, distribution config. This would allow you to add all of the different stores that is needed for this. I hope you like it. Thanks.